Hello there, my name is Jonathan Alex, and welcome back to Minecraft Windows 10 Edition, where today we're going to be continuing our tour of my Fiji class cruiser. Now, we've just come on out of the, uh, oh no, over here, sorry, I've, I've gone on a bit of a wonder. We've just come out of the engine room over here, this is where the engine room is, and um, we are now moving um, to the galley, showers, HQ sick rooms, radar rooms, crew quarters, and rear staircase. But before we do that, there is a room around here which I haven't shown. It is the ship electric maintenance, so this is where all the electric would be managed. And then we have the upper boat deck, which comes out onto here. And we, it is unfortunately raining, and there is thunder. So not a very nice day today on the high seas, but you know... Um, Yes. Anyway, back down into the ship because it is absolutely freezing out here. B-deck and electric maintenance. So back down to B-deck. Here we go. Boom. We're going to go have a look at galley showers, hydroacoustic searches, uh, rooms, uh, radar, crew quarters, and wrist staircase, which goes back up to the upper, um, upper deck. Boom. Right, okay, here we go. Long uh, staircase there. So we're kind of heading to the back of the ship now. I can't. It's, it sounds like we're being fired at, but trust me, we're not. Don't worry. If uh, I think my crew have uh, pretty much sorted it out, if you ask me. Anyway, crew quarters all the way down here. 22 beds along this bit here. All for my lovely, lovely crew. And then uh, wrist stairs, obviously, this way, just in case you need to get up very quickly. The captain's office. Here is my office, which I'd usually come and sit snug in this chair and be like, you have not been working very well. And, you know, that, mm, that would happen. Anyway, moving on. We have the crew showers. The crew showers here are uh, pretty swag, if you ask me. Um, these are obviously where the crew can wash. And don't worry, there can be no peeping toms that will be able to look into the, uh, well, un unless they wanted to, I don't know. We'd want to be looking at uh, sailor men, but uh, apart from the woman. <gasps> Ooh. Uh, yeah, anyway, we have a library. This is where we keep all the really cool secret information. And um, it's also where uh, it keeps, uh, like, where to hit, hit, like, a ship citadel, angle away from incoming shells, ricocheting, and all that crap. But yes, anyway, moving on. Hydroacoustic search room. Not a lot in here, but people would sit in here and they'd listen out to... See if they can hear any ships on a bearing or whatever. Anyway, we have the radar equipment room. Again, really basic decorations in here. And then we have a locker room, just in case you need to keep some valuables. Because the Fiji actually carried quite a lot of gold when it sank, if you didn't know that. Anyway, we've got a rear kitchen. And you'll realise why we have a rear kitchen. Because, unfortunately, there is another galley at the back of the ship. So here we are. Uh, here we are. <laughs> here we are. Here we are, we've reached the lower boat deck. Um, CPO quarters and the laundry is downstairs, but the lower boat deck is upstairs, so we'll be having a look at that in a bit. We have a toilet here, you know, pretty, pretty, pretty basic. Um, and then, yeah, we, uh, yeah, so we're gonna go downstairs now. So this is, again, right down in the gut of the ship. Really, really low now, and we're gonna go have a look at some of the other quarters and the laundry rooms that are down here. So we have a fleet commander quarters, exactly the same lieutenant quarters exactly the same and then we have a commander quarters so this is a bit more fancy you know looking quite nice and then right at the bottom here we have the laundry room yay and all my snow is mounted there was a lot of stacked up snow here which was um meant to be uh sailor clothes but it doesn't really matter a couple of washing laundry rooms here pretty pretty cool um but yeah that's it um apart from that I'm really anxious about the thunder at the moment because if it hits the ship and explodes it, then, you know, not my fault. <laughs> anyway, moving down to the back, back, back of the ship. This is like, we're past the rudders and all that now. Um, we have the captain's and second-in-command quarters and dining room. Um, but before we go in there, we're going to be having a look at the rear gun room. Uh, strip personnel only, and there's another storage room at the back here. Boom, exactly the same as the front one, but a little bit more different. You know, again, it has the really menacing TNT, but this would lock into there. That would go to the back of there. And then, boom, this would come out here, and then it would reload into there. And it's the same with, like, down here as well. We've got, obviously, two thick armor walls, and obviously where the showers are kept and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, that's that. And, obviously, if we go up into the turret, again, exactly the same thing as the front. Um, 
and pretty swag if you ask me. Anyway, let's open this door on up and let's actually go and have a look at the captain quarters and second command, you know, high ranking officer bits and bobs. Boom, come through here, a drastic chain, change of scenery. This is what the galley on the uh, B deck would be for. They'd come and bring the food over here and uh, serve it. But if we come back right to the back of the ship, we have the uh, fleet, I can't, the petty officers or whatever. This is, uh, I can't remember what that actually stands for. Um, oh my god, that thunder was just outside that window. <laughs> anyway, so we have obviously a few beds for the high ranking officers. And back here we have the captain's room. Boom! My room all the way back here in the back of the ship. Very, very lovely. And I've got my captain's hat here, which I've already got on. It's the closest I could get. Um, but I've got a double bed, the only double bed on the ship. And usually, like for example, when when on the Missouri, when they were carrying Ruse about, they had a bath for him, um, which is pretty cool. But anyway, let's go back down and let's go to the upper decks and explore them because we haven't had a look at them yet. So we've done the downstairs decks, we've done all these rooms, and we've done the toilets. Let's go on up. So here we go. We're now on the uh, promenade deck, or the uh, lower um, lower outdoor deck. And here we have some torpedo tubes. So this is where the torpedo tube tubes are on the Fiji, and this is where they'd fire. There are also um, some secondary armament there, there, and there for them. Um, so yes, and then obviously we have another crow's nest up here, and uh, we have another uh, range finder, and we also have the rear turrets. There's also at the back of the ship we have some uh, A mounts here. Days be firing and it'll be like, like that, you know. We've got a boat, also a lifeboat on the back of the ship. That was really really close. I heard that. Um, so yeah, anyway, moving on, let's go back to where we were so you guys don't get confused. We're going to be having a look through here, so there's obviously the big, big torpedo tubes. We've got some lifeboats there. Um, that goes down onto the uh, A deck and the sick bay and all that. This here, the B deck and electric maintenance, that goes back down to this thing here, which we've already seen. All the electric, uh, you know, thing my bub in the boobs. Um, but anyway, we're going to be having a look at some pretty cool rooms. We're going to have a look at the torpedo guidance. So this is where the torpedoes would be guided and um, be, um, you know, fired at. So it'd be like, oh, let's say there's a battleship coming over here. Boom, we fire our torps and they go down and they hit the target. And a couple of, uh, you know, computers there. So there we go, that was the torpedo guidance. Coming through here, we have base communications. Um, this is where we'd communicate with the base, I'm gathering. I, I don't know, just extra decoration. Um... Going upstairs, uh, we have a fire room, which is where the hoses and stuff would be kept and fed out, and then to put obviously out fires and a bit more decoration and whatnot. And then we have obviously a few more bits and bobs here, but we have the rear boat deck, which is like literally the most pointless thing on the ship ever. Um, but yeah, that, that's that. Um, so yeah, let's head on in, head back on in, back into the warm. And let's go back downstairs and back on out. So here we go. We're going to go up now to um, the upper boat deck, which has the secondary turrets here. You know, we have a few more lifeboats and that there. Um, another one there. We have a couple of searchlights and that. Um, the cranes, which would lift up the planes and also lift up the uh, lifeboats and put them in and out of the water. Um, so yeah, here we go. This is it. Um, moving on. Uh, well, actually, no. Where, did, where? How do we go now? Have I, I think I've shown the whole ship. Have I? I think I've. I think I've shown the whole ship. I'm not sure. Anyway, I think that's pretty much it, though, for my Fiji class cruiser. It was a quick, quick, very quick. Um, you know, uh, oh, what do you call it? A very quick explanation and uh, showcase that's the word I'm looking for quick showcase and uh, yeah that is it if you want to know uh, how to build this or if you did that actually just hit my fucking ship it just hit my secondary turret what a bitch luckily fire spread and TNT it, um, explosions are off um, but yes that is it for now guys that was my ship um, I do hope you enjoyed um, I had a lot of fun building this. It took me four days to build from scratch. Just having a look at the 3D model on um, 
on the World of Warships uh, mod, um, 3D model, 3D models page. I'll put a link in the description to the Fiji um, like class cruiser and all that, and uh, show you guys uh, obviously, you know. What I looked at and how, you know, what I got inspiration from to build this. Um, but if you have enjoyed, please do leave a like and uh, hopefully I'll be doing a few more builds like this very, very soon. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed and I'll have to see you in the next one. Uh, goodbye and I'll see you soon.